Okay, we have installed Mate and Mate Extra in Arch. This is the look we get, and let's not install our scripts coming from Arch Linux D because on the GitHub there is everything you need to have a working system. But let's just have some fun and build it up from scratch again, like we did also in um, the other one, Cinnamon. So, what do we have? How can we proceed? Well, first things first, do we have a terminal? Do we have a terminal? We need to have a terminal. Control alt is most often shortcut, but it's not working. System tools, Mate terminal. We have a terminal, but we have fonts that we cannot read. They all are collided together. Are we having, no, we're not having Azerti, we're having QWERTY. So my first issue at hand, system, preferences, hardware, Keyboard, layout, English US, add, whoa, not Afghanistan, but Belgium. This should be my keyboard. I trust that's correct. And then add, English is out, close. Back to here, to the system tools, Mate terminal, Azerti. Okay, that's fine. Now we need a font, because this font is not good. Um, profile preferences maybe already. System fonts, we have your monospace. Uh, there are other things installed as well. Let's see if we have something available that we can just choose. Never seen sticks, but I'm gonna, gonna take this one. One, two, three, four. Five, no, one less, select. What do we have now? Well, something unreadable. So that's not an issue, I not a uh, solution to my issue. I don't know what this is. Stick, 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 so forget about sticks. And then, serve bolt, select, no things. We need to have something monospace stuff, but that's not installed. So that's not helping. In another video, we installed software. We installed sudo, well, it, it, it's sudo, I hope it is, minus s. Is it deja vu or is it ttf deja vu? I can't read it either, but we need to get past this to get good fonts. Aha, we have here something changed in here. Maybe you saw it on a space bold select much, much better. Show menu bar, no titles, colors, background. Oh yeah, transparency. We love transparency. Okay, let's take something in the middle. Scrolling, no, disabled. Scroll back, unlimited please. Close, close this thing. Applications, system tools, and let's go ahead with this one. So we have a terminal, that's nice, we can read it. It's a big font, it's even bold I think. And what's next? Next would be great if we had a theme. Can we install themes? Do we have themes? Pacman minus S. This arc theme, huh. what is it called again? GTK, theme switch, GTK sharp, GTK arc, is it arc GTK? Arc, arc icon theme, arc KDA, arc solid GTK theme is the one I took in previous tutorial, so let's take something else. There's also the adapter theme, I'm not sure if that's start with adapter. Yeah, probably. Adapter, GTK theme. Let's try this one. Uh, whoa, we have a problem. Houston, we have a problem. So when this happens, means that he's trying to get a file from somewhere and the from somewhere is now going all, all over the service. Every mirror is going to be checked. And what you need to do is sudo pacman minus syyu. He's going to update everything. 
Yeah, that as well. And it's going to update everything that needs to be updated. That's what this code means. And let's go ahead and let's install it. So GTK theme is now installed. System, preferences, the look and the feel. The look and the feel give me adapter. So we have adapter Nocto. Oh, you know I like the darker look. Let's see if we have so that does the file manager caja and see what happens if we change things here. Just more spaces, it seems. So I'm going to take Nocto Eta. Okay, we have a theme. How about an icon theme? Because this is the standard icon theme which we well which is not that nice now icon themes i was just thinking should i install panic hour first we can look up icon themes there as well we could just give it a try as well mike pacman minus s maybe it starts with icon maybe not nope it doesn't so it can be anything you need to know the name so new mix is probably one of them that's a gtk theme which is also a theme we can install it okay voila we have more one theme more but we were not looking for themes but what we installed is something new this one that's what we just installed and okay let's keep the nocto so Icon themes. We most of the icon themes, most interesting th things, I think, it's personal opinion, are probably on the AUR. Now we have installed Yahoo, and we can check out icon and theme and see what we get. We get 24 elements, and we can check out oh much more. Why did I say that? 219 elements are there, all icons. Now the thing is, so these icons come from extra, so these green and purple guys are all coming from till here. 24 elements are coming from the arch repos, so we could install Papyrus icon theme for instance. But all the rest are coming from AOR, so yes, it's true, there are more icons on the AOR than on the arch repo. So 24 against 200 more or less. So yeah, why not the papyrus icons? We have them here. Where is it? Breeze, Gnome. I think it was an extra. Here it is. Number 22. So, 22. Enter. Proceed with installation. Yeah, sure. Go. And there we are. So, we have done that. Close terminal was almost too soon that I closed it. Preferences, look and feel, appearance. Uh, we have to go inside here, so customize. Window border, we can change that maybe, not really. Icons. E-Papyrus or Papyrus, we need to have a file manager open so we can see. So this is control H, these are all the folders. For that one, or that one, or that one. Okay, this one. Papyrus Dark is for me good. Papyrus Light is this. We don't see the icons anymore. So Papyrus Dark is a good choice. All right, icon theme is done. We have a text editor. That's uh, okay. We have, uh, let's take a look how it's called here. Applications, we had a Pluma, Pluma text editor. If we like that, that's okay. If we don't like it, right mouse click, open in terminal, and we say sudo. Well, actually, how about looking up what text editors are there on ArchWiki? On ArchWiki. So I need actually to be able to surf. So surfing, surfing. Let's install Firefox, Vivaldi, Google Chrome, Chromium. There are several others. 
Firefox um, browsers, we can also take a look what ArchWiki says about that. So Internet Firefox, double click, ArchWiki browsers. List of applications, Internet web browsers. So you just choose what you want, Firefox, Seamonkey, Firefox spin-offs. These are the graphical ones, these are the console ones, so inside a terminal. Google Chrome, Inox, Iridium, Opera, Slimjet, Vivaldi, Yandex, Crusta, at some point or other I made icons for them. But you just choose whatever you want. But we were actually talking about text editors first. So, ArchWiki, that's how I always start, text editor. Let's see if this works. Never done that, and it works. Category. Atom, Gnome G-Edit, Cocoon, Media Wiki, and Nano, Sky, Space Map, Zoom, Zoom. Hmm. How about this one? That's better. So, Console is not what I want. I want it in a graphical application. Ah, here are the graphical guys. ACME, Atom we can install. Beaver, Brackets also possible. Genie, we have that in Arco Linux. Uh, G edit Kate for KDE Plasma K, K, K writes most of the things that start with K are from Plasma or KDA KDE Leaf Pads Mouse Pads Pluma here's the Pluma from Mate so there's a lot of possibilities to install and it's nobody's um, well it's everybody's prerogative to in, to choose their own text editor. So it's up to you to decide, hey, what I want to work with. Let's make it a um, little bit difficult, difficult in the sense that if I want to sudo pacman minus s minus, okay, s sublime text, if I want to do that, install sublime text, then you get an error. Why? Because it's just not part from the arch repo. We need to get it from the yaourt, from the AOR. Sublime, that's already enough. And then you have 12 choices, that's okay. So we need this one, Sublime Text Development. And we take number two. And it's going to download the text dev. And it's package build. No. Edit, no. Continue, yes. Proceed, yes. He's downloading the build now, package, and now he's building it. Well, it's already built, it's compressing. Continue installing, yes please, yes please. And there we have, we can now have a other um, text editor. Now, if we want to have a conkey or something, well, we need to install a conkey. So we could get sudo pacman minus s conkey. Now this thing will work with regular conkeys. If you have a conkey that you like and it's working with Lua, L-U-A, then you need to install something else. You need to install uh, yaourt, then you type conkey, Lua, and then maybe archers as well. So you get a very small selection it's this one that we use on Arco Linux and it sh still works after a year or so already since Arch Labs. It just works. So Conky Lua Archers is my go-to uh, package. So if we want a thermal on Conky, we need to have a Conky, of course. So we don't have Conkeys and they're not out of the box installed. I'm going to find for a very old Conky of mine, which is called Aurora. Conky. Let's see if this still works. Aurora Conky theme. It's a thing I'm, I'm not working on it anymore because it's the old text. It's the old um, way to format a Conky. And my successor is the Aureola Conky. So this is the one I never install anymore. And this is the one that I do install because this one is written in the newer version 
and this is the old version so let's see if we can do anything with an old version right mouse click extract here Aurora oh conkeys and these conkeys let's think again the conkeys must be installed at some point in your system so control a control c and then we can let's think let's think control h it needs to be in the config right mouse click create folder oh wait a moment let's see what happens if i control alt t doesn't work in control alt t right mouse click open in terminal what if we launch conky that won't do a thing will it it will just launch this thing which is okay but it did not create a folder either what i'm figuring out is i think we need to install as well right mouse click open in terminal is this in pack uh, this is this is new for me i've never installed it on arch so the conky manager is there something called that yeah voila, there it is conky manager since only conky manager well not only the conky manager can help you with this old script not with aureola with the new one okay and when you run that close terminal then it writes you this that's what i wanted to know so it's a dot conky folder it's not inside dot config where we have it in arco linux where you put the information of the areola conky is the same it works in dot config and then in a folder dot um, in dot config in a folder conky but if you install the old version it's in the dot conky already direct under the home directory Whew. complex right so, control A, control C. I'm gonna put everything in the dot com key. Control V. Yeah, we we'll write everything, whatever, merge. This is a virtual box, couldn't care less. Replace. There it is. Now we have this application somewhere. Conkey Manager. Here it is. And here are all my conkeys. This will not work because this is a Lua thing, but other things will work and there are themes as well. Let's try a theme that's gonna be, whoa, very big. Let's see if it works. Nothing does it. Let's try just widgets, small steps, Eric. Small steps, how about the snowy? Okay, something is happening. System flare. All in one. That's a nice one. Maybe we should import this one in Arco Linux. How about the battery? There is no battery. Eric, there is no battery. This is desktop. We've seen that one. We've seen that one. The clock. There's the clock. Uh, I've probably not installed the fonts. This is an Ubuntu font that it wants, Android fonts that it wants so let's tackle the fonts so let's tackle the fonts so eric dubois control h go inside conky did i make fonts yes i made fonts a lot of fonts that i need install the fonts and update so open in terminal install the fonts and conkeys are always ugly if you don't have the fonts always so the calendar was this still ugly breaking bad still ugly need i need to you know need to reboot maybe now yeah, this clock clock looks different i think dropbox information if i have dropbox installed forecast so all this information it's typical of conkeys that information with weather forecast break it's so typical 
aha the font is installed otherwise it wouldn't be so beautiful but this is one that still works frozen cherry this is the general one I don't think the font is supposed to look like that here there is a Lua a clock or something or something in here it doesn't work general all-in-one this kind of look this old school this is me learning years ago how to write conkeys and then there was this new way to write everything the Lua way of writing things and then I went to Aureola lots of information they should be drawing lines in here so you need to have Lua for it yeah we could of course install Lua why not so um, let's install also Trizen which is faster to install stuff because you press enter 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 and it package will no continue building yes password yes go get it continue yes ah, ah damn it always happens wrong button then you can start again edit uh, no continue yes continue installing yes yes enter so I was saying Conky uh, Archers that's probably enough it's number one Conky Lua Archers enter 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 now it's going to conflict with a Conky that exists the only thing you have to say well get rid of the old Conky and get me the Conky Lua by the way I see this takes long a long time because we're using one one core and on the website arcolinux.com we have a general post installation what do you do after installation how to speed up your computer during building we did not do this we did not say make the flags from G4 G2 to G9 meaning if you have eight cores if you have eight cores then you can set it to G9 and there's a little script for that the script is in here in open box in Arco Linux and used to be already in Arch Merch there and then you get everything you get all the cores that are working so he says Conky Lua Archers and Conky are in conflict that's a good message remove Conky yes you have to say yes and then we get another kind of conky conky that supports 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 let's take something groovy here he is something like this this is typical lua this design of these lines and the icons and all that this is 100 percent lua code we need to put it in the middle of the page but this is well lua code and there are probably others to know this one let's go over them again so some elements red love <laughs> what's uh, so this is transmission if you have if you're downloading something then you see the information of the download how fast and when it's in and there again stats if you have statistics transmission it's downloading again top bar is not there not showing broken like I said I'm not maintaining it ever again it's just old stuff uh, Spotify you see a an, 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 um, cover of the music that's playing it's a nice one I still play not still working there yeah maybe I should get back it back in the creation of conkeys which is always fun orbs ah, no orbs to be seen Nvidia panel if I have Nvidia I do not infinity this should give us some lines at some point 
So broken again. It's a good thing to see it's it is it this is for me memory lane, you know. But hey, you just put on your conky and that's it. Now how about wallpapers? Can we get wallpapers in? Ah, we have to fix the code. Once you click on the desktop, the conky is gone. It's not broken, but it's gone. So we need to set the conky in the conky you need to change some lines. So as you see it's it's not so easy, conkeys and different desktops. That's the thing, the different desktops all the time. You have to change them. So, wallpapers. Okay, right mouse click, open in terminal. How about tries and wallpapers? Can we download wallpapers? Well, a lot of wallpapers. Pokemon wallpapers. <laughs> Plasma 5 wallpapers. A live wallpaper would be nice to see these images moving, but at some point you get tired of all the moving stuff and you don't want, don't want it anymore. Some deeping wallpapers, Plasma, Arch Linux wallpapers, well let's take that one. Arch Linux wallpaper, install 11 megabytes, it's in here, user share Arch Linux wallpapers, remember the folder, then change desktop background, do we see them already? This is all Mate, so no we don't see them. Plus, other location, computer, user, share, Arch Linux, wallpaper. Aha, uh -huh, those are the guys. So, you mean it? I just selected one. We don't see the f in contents of the folder. Should I go up? Let's see if I can fix that. So, user, share, Arch Linux. And now, now we need to open it. And we have to select one like this. All wallpapers with the logo of Arch Linux. Maybe this one is simply black. All right, close. Something is wrong because it says here this, this logo comes up. So, change desktop background, tile, let's take zoom, that's better, zoom, and for the rest it's okay. So we can set the fonts a little bit bigger or change the fonts altogether. We at Arco Linux, what do we do? We do a right mouse click, open in terminal, pseudo pattern minus s, not of fonts. I can only recommend them, a very nice font very clean and now that it's installed we can probably not select it yet can we no we need to first get rid of that change desktop environment fonts and then motto there they are again sans regular and then one more is okay and that's now our font document font desktop font motto Sounds regular. One more is okay. Select and close. Window title font, yeah. We need to be consistent over, well, in every way. Maybe let's scroll up. It's all the way up. Like this one, probably 111 as well. That's okay. There you go. So we've changed some elements already. Conkeys, uh, this time old conkeys, the wallpapers. We took a wallpaper from Arch Linux, from the AUR. Maybe you would like to have a plank, I don't know if you want that, but sudo pacman minus s plank. And then you maybe remember that we have at Arch Linux about 80 schemes, so looks about of, of plank. And let's launch Plank already. We can have that already, Plank. It's down here, so right mouse click, control, wait, left control on your keyboard, right control on your mouse, references. And then bottom is not a good thing, to the left is okay. And then we have one, two, three, four, five themes. How nice, five themes. 
If you say, hey, this these Arco Linux guys have at their repo about 80 themes, how do I get them? Okay, right mouse click, open in terminal. You are going to git clone. Is git installed, by the way? Git is not installed, so sudo pacman minus s git. Oops, gti is a car, git, password is needed, Eric. Git is installed, git clone https github.com Arco Linux with a D, Arco, and we are Mate. So we need our GitHub to get that information. Why? Because there is an Arch Wave folder, and that's a folder that for the guys who are at phase uh, 5 it is, install Arch Linux the Arch Wave. But if you want stuff from our repo, then you need to run number 10 to trust the key. And if your system Arch Linux trusts the key, then you can add our repo from Arco Linux. If that's done, you can update your directory here, your list of oh my pacman minus s like so. Now you have two more lines, Arco Linux, Arco Linux, and now you can say so the pacman minus s Arco and all the stuff that is from Arco can now be installed. We were talking about blank. So the only thing we actually need is the themes. So we're going to get that one. And if we ask our theme, right, so control, left control on your keyboard, right control on your mouse, preferences, and you click here, then you have a little bit more variety. So we can say, okay, how does this look, that look? With arrow up, we can maybe make it white or something so it pops out in this black or even red. Why not red? Nice too. So we could make something like this. I don't know. You make it bigger, smaller. You can make it icon zoom. So you move it over and get very big. It moves like this a little bit too much. So it's all up to you how you uh, make that look was wondering if we could get rid of this here. Um, so we need to check out the desktop references, display, keyboard, mouse, power, sound. Ah, was that? No. Look and feel, appearance, pop-up, screensaver, windows, personal, file manager, no. Administration, no. Let's go into control center, desktop, no. Where was it again that we can get rid of our Icons. I don't know if we can just right mouse click it, send it to empty trash, resize. There was a way to get rid of those. Where was it again? How about appearance? No. I'm gonna pause a little bit and search for it. Okay, after a little search on the web, I'm missing Mate Tweak, which is my tool to get rid of it because otherwise the option is to install dconf editor and go inside that but hey that's one step of one bridge too far there is an application called multi tweak but now i'm a little a little bit um, well well i miss my control alt i want my terminal in my keyboard so i'm gonna make a quick keyboard shortcut at uh, multi terminal I think that's the name. We'll see soon enough. My terminal apply and control T. Okay, so that's fixed. So now I'm not frustrated anymore that control T does not do anything. So a quick uh, let's see if we have it here. Actually, a lot of things we can install. Icon themes, Mate, Mate screens here. Okay, a lot of stuff, but I don't see mate or mate tweak, by the way. All right. Tell me, Trizen, can you find it? There it is in the AUR. We have a Git version. Okay. 24 plus for the first one. So I'm going to take number one. And enter, 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 enter. No, nope, we need a password. Enter and enter.
and enter. So that's one of the tips, Mate tweak. The question is, where is it then again? Mate tweak, don't see it. That is maybe here. Mate system, was it here? Preferences, it hides away somewhere. Once you know, you know, there it is. Show desktop icons, bye bye. But my tip is to leave it on because a right mouse click on the desktop gives us this. If you click this off, then right mouse click is that too. So we need to just say this one, that one, that one, and that one maybe. This is for the USBs, external hard drives and stuff. Maybe you can leave it on. And then a panel, we can have a GNOME 2 panel or a Fedora panel. Let's see how that looks. So now it looks like this. Is there a difference? GNOME 2. Don't see a difference. Enable dock, enable keyboard and Windows. You can have your Marco with or without compositor. Compositing means that it's a shadow or transparency or something like, like that. Okay, now we have done uh, already quite a bit. Um, we can download everything from Arco Linux. Is there anything else? Well, if there is anything else that I have not covered, it's always very simple. You go to ArchWiki, to the Mate page, which is all the way up. Well, Control H, Arch, Wiki, Mate. There you go. Whoa! I need to fix my uh, Firefox, it seems. I did something wrong with my Firefox here. Let's see if reboot here, restart helps things along. Arch, Wiki, Mate. Okay, I'm healthy again. <laughs> so. You check out the page, you check out YouTube, uh, installations, and of course Arco Linux as well, and Arco Linux D. And then you build up your system. That's the goal, that's the idea. Um, start from scratch and then build your way and figure out how all these applications are named, what, uh, what does what and what is called what, and that's the fun. All right, enjoy learning.